What is going on, Supreme family? If you guys can see me, you guys can hear me, go ahead and drop a number one in the chat. If you guys can see me and you can hear me, go ahead and drop the number one. We have a lot of things we're going to be covering today. So if, you, if this is your first time ever in a live Q&A with me, also go ahead and let me know by saying first time in the chat section, all right? Because today, like I said, we're all about value, all about providing gems. And I know a lot of people struggle when it comes to dropshipping on knowing how to build a successful dropshipping store. One that can generate you five, six, and even seven figures. Or you know that your store is built out, but you just don't know if it's going to convert. And you want to get it reviewed. So that's what today is going to be about, all right? We're going to be covering how to create high converting Shopify stores and you'll even uh, I'll even be reviewing some of your guys' stores so that you have everything that you need to drive sales consistently all 2024. And if you guys have any questions today, make sure to go ahead and let me know. You can let uh, some questions in the chat section. I'll be able to answer your questions. Now my team is also in this chat, all right? My team is also in this chat, Supreme Ecom. So you will be seeing them in here. So if you have questions th uh, throughout today or you need links to things I'm talking about, you'll be able to access it directly. And all the people on here, all right? I'm talking to Instagram right now. I am live as well. You will be seeing a link in my bio for you to go ahead and join this live Q&A. This is going to give you the opportunity to get your store reviewed today. Ask questions about how to build a successful dropshipping store, how to create a brand, what apps you need on your store, and more. Make sure you guys check it out with the link down in my bio, all right? And I hope that you guys are going to be really ready to take action, ask questions. You guys can let me know as well. If you do join, go ahead and say you're from Instagram, all right? If you are from Instagram, and uh, when you go ahead and join, let me know. And there's also a link, okay? There's also a link inside of this uh, live that you can go ahead and click on and visit, all right? So I got Nigeria in the house. I want to hear from you guys in here on Instagram where you're watching from as well, what state, what country. But we got Nigeria in the house. We got Philippines in the house. Uh, if you guys can drop your state and country as well, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. Now, also, I have a document here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys since a lot of you guys are in here for the first time. This is not me just lecturing and talking to you guys. I will be sharing my screen. I'll be showing you examples of my brands. I'll be showing you examples of other people's brands what apps you need, and literally showcasing you how to build a successful store from the home page to the product page to the policy pages, the themes, and all the things that you need and more, we'll be dropping it here down below. So again, if this is your first time, go ahead and let me know in the chat section. All right, I'm seeing some people in here, South Africa, Kentucky, Belgium, Boston, Pakistan, Poland, St. Louis, Cali, Florida. You guys know I'm from the best city in Missouri. Kansas City, all right, South Carolina, Florida, what is going on, Nigeria, Switzerland, Woof. we got people all over the place, I am actually out here now in the Supreme Ecom headquarters, behind this wall is my, uh, my entire team, we all work directly with each other, this is located in downtown Dallas, if you guys are in Dallas as well, make sure to come and check us out, man, we're right downtown, um, we all work hand-to-hand -hand with each other on a day-to-day -day basis, and we got the full Supreme family in here, all right? Denmark, India, Texas. All right, I'd love to see it. I have a question before we get started, all right? If you do have a Shopify store open currently, go ahead and drop a number one. If you do not have a store open, go ahead and drop the number two. So I have a better understanding of everybody in here. But um, yeah, look, this is what we're going to be covering today. I'll be showing you how to build out your homepage from the announcement bar, navigation bar, welcoming statement, mission statement, feature products. I'll be showing you how to showcase a strong high converting product page, what features and benefits do you need to be utilizing, how many sentences, font, textures, everything that you need on your store, we will be covering today, all right? Damien's saying, I have family in Dallas. I haven't met somebody, uh, hope to come. Hey, come pull up. Somebody said, I love your 4.0 blue, uh, 4 blueprint. It's amazing. Just implement uh, AC. Hey, I'm going to let y'all know right now, okay? The blueprint 4.0 is officially out, all right? If you have not checked out the blueprint 4.0, Make sure to go ahead and reach out to me. You can DM me after this, okay? But look, this is what it looks like from everything from store design, product research, how to run your ads, scaling, Facebook ads, video testing, lookalikes, scaling, retargeting, Facebook disablements, TikTok practical guide, TikTok organic, TikTok shop, TikTok paid ads, Instagram organic, print on demand, email, SMS marketing, 
Everything you could ever think of that you would ever need to run a successful e-commerce brand is now available. The Supreme Ecom Blueprint 4.0 is officially out. For the people who are wanting to take advantage of it, I will go ahead and drop it down below, all right? This has Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, print on demand. If you're looking to really join a community of other like-minded individuals, be around myself and my team, it also gives you guys access to a private Discord channel, all right? So with that being said, I'm excited to go ahead and get going in here. If you guys are ready, go ahead and let me know, all right? I see Marty saying, AC, greetings from Deer Park, Washington. Happy to have you in here, all right? We got St. Martin in the house. What's going on, all right? I have, I'm happy that you guys enjoy the Blueprint 4.0. We worked like three months on it, all right? But to get started today, okay, I want to go ahead and break down what a successful store is going to look like, all right? So as mentioned, all right, if you guys are on this Instagram, I'm about to get started. So come join the YouTube. I'm going to end this live right now. The link is in the bio or in here. We're going to hop off, and I'll see you guys on the inside. All right, Damien saying thank you for the Blueprint 4.0, of course. Greetings from Japan. All right, guys, you ready to go ahead and jump into this? So this is what the gym is going to look like today. And if you guys are good with this, you guys are ready for this, let me know. This is what we're going to do today. And when you're ready, go ahead and say you're ready. First off is I'm going to go ahead and showcase what a winning store looks like. What apps do you need? What does the build need to look like? From there, I'm going to show you guys examples of different stores that you guys can recreate. From general stores, one product stores, niche stores, and tell you guys some of the pros and cons of each. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and review your store live. So if you came in here today, you want me to review your guys' store, go ahead and say, please review mine, okay? And then in about 20 minutes, I'm going to let you guys post the link of your stores in here. And I'm going to pull these up. I'm going to review about like one, two, three different stores by myself. By that moment, you should really start to understand what goes into a winning product or a winning store. So then for like stores four, five, six, and seven that we review, you guys will be helping me review them together. So I understand that you're paying attention. So I understand that you're taking the things away. So I'm not going to just give it all. We're going to work together on this. So if you're ready to work together, you're ready for the knowledge, you're ready to know exactly what a winning store looks like that can jive six, seven, and even eight figures, go ahead and drop the number one, all right? Online money from Discord, all right? We ready to get going. All right, cool. So first thing I want to go ahead and break up, uh, bring up to you guys is what type of different stores are out there, okay? So you have niche-focused stores, one-product stores, branded stores, and general stores. Let me give you guys an example of all four of them, okay? Here's an example of a niche-focused store, okay, which is going to be Petco, all right? How many of you guys have heard of Petco? I know a lot of you guys have heard of Petco before. This is more of a niche-focused store where it's specifically around just dogs, animals, pets. You're not going to find online gadgets. You're not going to find fitness products. This is all going to be around this one niche, all right? Another, one, another example that we can go ahead and do, okay? For a niche uh, is Gymshark. This is going to be around training, about working out. Next, we have one product stores. One product stores focus on just selling one specific product with multiple different upsells that go with it. All right, but it's all around just the one product. For example, like Blinjet. Okay, Blinjet is a is a very great example of a one product store. Their main product is this portable blender. But this is also an example of a branded product. All right, so with branded products, there's nothing different. Okay, I can show you guys where you can find this portable blender right now on AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, Auto DS. I can show you this portable blender right away. The only thing different between this and Blinchet is they just added their logo to it. So this is why it's considered a branded one product store. And lastly, we have a general store, okay? And a general store is going to be something like Amazon, where you guys can buy anything that you want from household, health, and baby care, handmade items, you know, all the way from, you know, electronics, trampolines, anything you can think of is right on this store. So I want to talk to you about the store that I suggest and why I suggest this type of store format. So if you have your notebooks out, you're taking paper, you're taking notes, and you're going to implement today, go ahead and drop the number one, all right? I'm talking to you, James, Nicholas, Maltitude, Damien, Kevin, Rishala, TSO, Mossad, all right? I want to make sure that you guys are taking notes, paying attention, and you're ready to implement today. So if you are, go ahead and drop the number one so we can go ahead and continue. 
And mind you, guys, I'm giving out a giveaway today. All right, so if this is your first time ever on a giveaway or a call with me or ever on a live Q&A with me, I'm giving out a giveaway today. This giveaway is going to give you three things, but you have to stay to the very end today. Okay, the very end is at 1 p.m. It is 12, 10 p.m. right now. So this is how you're going to win this giveaway. It's going to come with three things. Okay, first thing you're going to get in this giveaway is a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call. Okay, this is going to give you the opportunity of getting an inside look of my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, getting on a call with myself, my team, my, uh, and really going through any questions that you have. will allow you to be on Zoom, to share your screen, allow us to control your screen, and guide you through any questions that you have. This is a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call. Secondly, a 2024 success plan that is tailored around you, meaning that by the time that you get off this call, we're going to create a success plan that's tailored around your goals, your experience, and what you want to achieve, and give you this plan so that you can go ahead and execute into the right direction. And thirdly, some free Supreme Ecom merch. So if you're going to stay to the very end today and you want to take advantage of this giveaway and getting all these amazing things for free, go ahead and let me know that you're going to stay to the very end, all right? But yeah, this is what you guys can go ahead and take advantage of. Like I said, and if we do have about six spots left for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship for the month of uh, January. So if you are wanting to take advantage of uh, applying for these limited spots, no matter your experience level, we will create a tailored one-on-one -on -one mentorship around you. No mentorship is ever the same. Prices always vary because it's around you. This is not we take on a thousand different people. We only take a select few so we can completely focus on quality over quantity. So if you want to take advantage of that, it is down below, all right? But let's go ahead and talk about it. I see a lot of you guys are dropping the number ones. You have your pens and papers out. Let's go ahead and jump into it, all right? So with a general store, why I suggest starting off with a general store is it allows you to test out different products without being tied down to a certain type of product because of your store build, meaning that you can make money throughout the entire year selling what is always in demand. Okay, other examples of this are the Walmarts, the Targets. Here's one of my older, um, my older brands that I've had right here. Okay, this is one of my older ones that I really put a lot of effort into. This one generated over $495,000 in a single month, okay, as a general store. Now, why this is important as starting a general store is you don't have to change up your store design every time you want to sell something new, okay? Now, this is important. I want you guys to write this down. This is what I do, and this is what I recommend you guys do. We run general stores, okay, with branded niche-focused product pages. Meaning, when you come to my store and I'm bringing 95% of my traffic is going to go to the landing page of the product that I'm selling, not the home page. Meaning that when traffic comes to my store, they're going to be coming to this page. They're not going to be coming to the home page. And on this page... What you're going to notice is that I have complimentary upsells. I have my entire web page around, the seat, around this product and its niche. So meaning that, like, yes, I sell a sand-free beach mat for this example. So I might sell, uh, you know, a rollout beach wear. I might roll out something different, okay? Here's another example. Here's another one of uh, the general stores that I ran in the past. I was selling this type of product right here, and you see what I'm upselling with. I'm upselling with a scrunchie. I'm upselling with other hair straighteners because this is within the beauty niche, okay? So does this make sense, yes or no? General stores with branded niche-focused product pages, meaning when you come to my store and you see and you come to this type of product page, you're not going to see products that don't make sense as not to you know not go with this main product. You're not going to see reviews of other products. You're not going to see me recommending other products. You're not going to see any of this. It's all going to go towards that specific niche, so depending on what it's going to be, fitness, dog products, beauty, everything's going to be around that, all right? Kevin is saying yes. Raphael is saying yes. Lisa is saying yes, all right? Now, like I said, if you guys are going to be in here till the very end, let me know. Let me know. All right. So what are, what are some common misconceptions of having a general store? Well, some of them, people say it's messy. Some of them say that it's unorganized. Other people say that it's low converting, okay? These are some of the common misconceptions that you'll see about general stores. But anybody who believes in that, okay, believes that the case when it comes to general store, only people who believe in that is because they don't know how to set up a store correctly, <laughs> which is what's caused this and probably happened. 
So like I said, general stores with niche focused product pages. So if you're selling a baby bottle, you'd be upselling on the product page with other baby related products, not just other random stuff that you have in store just because you're hosting a general store. People are saying, how do you add reviews? How do you add this? Don't worry, I'm gonna walk all of you guys through this. All right? Lawrence, everything is if you're gonna put in the work. So if you wanna apply for my one-on-one -on -one coaching program, you'll be able to get on a free call with myself and my team. We will diagnose what you're currently doing. It's a free call. You guys can apply right here, okay? If you want more information, I would apply right wherever it was, right here, okay? Free discovery call, all right? Now, let me talk about the main elements that make up a homepage and why it's important. And then I'm gonna talk, you, talk to you about the main elements that make up a product page and why it's important. So if you guys want me to show you a live example of how to do both, go ahead and drop the number one, okay? And in the meantime, I do wanna highlight the student of the week. I always highlight the student of the week. This week is Mr. Oscar, okay? Now, this is my Discord channel. If you guys do wanna join my free success Discord channel to be around other students, uh, or be around uh, other like-minded individuals and see what my students are doing every single day to continue to be guided into the right direction, all right? You guys can join my free dis uh, Discord channel, okay? This is where you guys can be motivated. My, you see my students are gonna be posting their success that are in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship every single day. And this is what we do. Look, this one just came in at 12.08 p.m. It's 12.16. Second sale testing, gonna scale soon, all right? Just started advertising. But we're going to highlight the student of the week. We highlight big wins and small wins, right? It's only been three weeks in the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, generating the same number of sales I did in three months on my own. The value AC and his team brings is incredible. Now I know exactly what to do. We'll keep on improving, all right? Or, you know, $20,000 in four months from another one. But we don't always just celebrate big wins. I always celebrate small wins too. And this is our student of the week, Mr. Oscar. Everybody say congratulations, Oscar. All right? He started, he started working with us at the very beginning of this week, all right, on Saturday, okay, Saturday of last week, he joined the one-on-one -on -one mentorship, he never really advertised any product before, he's never dropped shit before, and he was getting nervous, all right, he was like, you know, running an ad for a day, and never got, and didn't get a sale, he's like, oh, I was about to cut this product, because we weren't getting any sales, but guess what we did on the call, we were like, you do not give up, data is more important than your opinion, do not, do not give up, okay, you need to focus on creating a legitimate data-driven decision-making, so he's like, right when I was turning my ads off, I got my first sale. Now I just got my third one. So, you know, this is what I just want to highlight, okay? Student of the week, congratulations, Oscar, for not giving up on yourself, for being able to get three sales within your first, you know, two days ever advertising, ever selling a product, never having any experience before. So congratulations, Oscar, okay? Now, if you guys do want to join this Discord around other individuals, you will see the link to my free Discord channel down below. All right, but let's go ahead and get into it. So... One thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and show you what a good homepage looks like, what a good product page looks like, and then I'm going to review your guys' stores. If that's cool with you, go ahead and drop the number one. Okay? So many people are saying, how many people are successful in it? Look, my finger doesn't stop. What would it mean to you to do, you know, $10,000 in seven days? $2,000 in a day. This is every single day. Even, even Australian, okay? We do this, okay? $3,000 yesterday. So men lie, women lie, numbers don't. We don't try to do this. We actually do this. All right? Do you talk about TikTok shop in the course? TikTok shop. <laughs> it's, it's directly in there. Yes, we talk about TikTok shop. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get into it real quick. Now, on your homepage, we want to start off with the announcement bar. When I'm looking at your stores, I'm going to be reviewing your guys' stores today. This is what I'm gonna be looking for. So for, first of all, you're gonna go ahead and have your announcement bar. On your store, you should be having three colors max. Write this down, if you have your notebooks out and you've wrote this down, go ahead and say yes. Okay, three colors max on your store. Black, white, and one accent color. What you're gonna notice on every brand that I've ever ran, okay, any brand that I've ever ran, you guys are gonna notice black, white, one accent color, okay? This is what you're gonna notice on every single one of my stores, okay? Black, white, and one accent color. Now, next thing is usually you can highlight your sale or you can highlight the season and trend that's currently happening. So here you can write like either early spring sale, Valentine's Day sale. This is kind of what you guys will be doing, all right? So for example, early Valentine's Day sale or winter fever is about to be ending. This is what you guys can be able to utilize. Next is going to be your navigation bar. And by the way, 
If you guys are wanting this cheat sheet downloadable added to this live, okay? Plus, a couple examples of some six and seven figure brands that you can base yourself off of. Once this video reaches 300 likes, I will post it in the description after this. And guess what? Also, if you do not win the giveaway today, the giveaway that I'm gonna be giving out in about 30 minutes, I will give you another chance of winning another giveaway next Wednesday at 10 a.m. when my video is posted on my YouTube channel. I'll be announcing the winner from this channel, from this live, okay? So again, if you wanna take advantage of that and you want this cheat sheet document, you want some examples to be basing yourself off of, smash that like button down below because once this video reaches 300 likes, I will post it in the description and I will give another giveaway winner if you do not win today, next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central Time, all right? Yes, the Discord is free, okay? You, there, is disc, there is free Discord services, okay? But also, all of our students are in here too, the paid ones. Obviously, the paid ones are only going to have access to the private channels. But you guys, in the free, if you guys do want to take advantage of the free, you guys will be able to take advantage of it right here, okay? Next, we have our welcoming statement and our image, okay? Here's an example of a welcoming statement for the summertime when I was running this brand in the summer. Here we say summer fever, welcome to our store, you know, everything needed in the summer and for our hard everyday workers looking for a great summer sale. We're dedicated to giving you the very best products with a focus on dependability, customer service, and uniqueness. I am no copywriter. Let me tell you guys something right now. In 2024, if you're not using AI to your advantage, you are literally hurting yourself. What you could do in an hour, you can do in five minutes. If you don't know what to do, use ChatGPT. If you guys are using ChatGPT, drop a number one. If you're not, drop a number two, okay? Next is going to be a mission statement. So here is going to be my mission statement right here. If you do not know how to write a mission statement, again, come straight over here to ChatGPT. Say, I started a general dropshipping store and need a mission statement. Write me one highlighting how we focus on high quality products. And dependability. And look, okay, it will write you one very quickly. Our mission is to revolutionize the online shopping experience by steadfast, uh, steadfastly upholding our commitment to quality and reliability. Okay, this entire thing was wrote in a couple seconds. So if you're not using this, please, please, for the love of God, make your life easy. Look at this. I'm going to show you guys a quick little thing off, of, off point real quick. All right, I can use this to my advantage. Say this is my competitor right here. I can literally come over here. I can copy this product page. I can come into ChatGPT. I can say, this is my competitor product page. Highlight what I can do to beat them and other features and benefits I can utilize. All right, I do this all the time as well. I'll put my competitor product pages and I will take like 80% of what they have in their product description and I'll just add 20% of my own sauce. And I don't even have to think about it. Like this is doing it for me. Look, like we can do this all day long. If I want to know how I can beat them, look, it says maybe offer more sizes or colors, maybe different features and benefits, offer a different type of strong brand narrative, better customer experience, marketing and visibility. Like I can take this entire product page of my competitor and completely rewrite it in less than five minutes and completely wipe out my competition. So if you are utilizing this or you have utilized it to even help with product pages and writing out your copy, one for yes or two for no. But this is one thing I would definitely recommend. All right, next we have our featured product. So one thing I have on here is going to be my featured product. So Kevin, Lucas, Gon, Amy, write this down, okay? 95% of your traffic will come to the landing page of the product that you're selling and they will either buy or they will sell. 5% of individuals, this is a study by Shopify, okay? And by the way, if you guys don't have a store open and you wanna get started with Shopify, I don't try to do this, I actually do this. You guys show me one of your favorite gurus who's on Shopify's homepage. I'm going, I've done this because I've generated over $10 million on Shopify's platform alone. So I've partnered with them to help you guys get started and to save money while doing so. 
So if you are wanting to get started with Shopify, three months only costing one single dollar, no credit card required, and a three-day free trial, you guys can go ahead and check out the description of this video after it is posted, or I can have it posted down below, okay? I'll have my team posted down below, but this is why we don't try to do this, we actually do this, okay? You guys show me somebody else who's on Shopify's homepage, okay? Anyways. What I'm going to show you guys, okay, is that 5% is going to the landing page or 5% is going to end up looking around and trying to say, is this a legitimate brand? Is this a legitimate store? Should I buy, should I buy from them? So that product that you are bringing traffic to, the main product, you also want it to be on your home page so you can enhance the customer's experience. So if they do come to your home page and they want to go back to the product that, they're, that they came originally to look for, it's right here. And they can go right back to it just like this. Okay, so this is very important that you do this as well. This is this section right here, which is going to be your main feature product. Now, after that, you guys can have your collections of products. So these are going to be your complementary products that also go with the main product that you're selling. Cross-selling, cross-related items. All right. What's up, Asian A? Happy to have you in here. Okay. Asian A is taking advantage, never gave up on herself, started working directly with us, I think, in July-ish, and was able to do over $120,000 in sales it's from zero, okay? Asian A is different because she doesn't give up on herself, but she implements proven strategies, and you guys can do the exact same thing, all right? Next is going to come down to your reviews. These are reviews that you guys can either write yourself, use ChatGPT, or get from your customers itself. This is just to make sure that you're giving a good customer's experience and that people feel, you know, feel like they can trust your brand, okay? No, number one way that people are gonna trust your brand is if they can trust others who have bought or visited your brand. And lastly is going to be the newsletter, okay? That's going to be the home page. If you guys are understanding what a great home page looks like and you see this and you understand it, Go ahead and drop a number one so we can move on to the product page. But real quick, all right, for the people in here, I am going to go ahead and give out the first giveaway instructions, all right? Here is the first giveaway instructions for the people in here, for the people who are asking. All right, so what this giveaway today is going to give you, like I said, is a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call, free Supreme Ecom merch, all right? Also, a 2024 success plan tailored around you. So if you want to win this giveaway, I'm going to give out this giveaway winner in 20 minutes. But if you do not win now, I'll also give you the opportunity of winning next Wednesday at 10 a.m. if you follow these instructions. Even if you're not watching this video live and you do this over the next couple of days, I will give that opportunity out this upcoming Wednesday. Here is the instructions. Okay, here is the instructions. Go to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. Okay, you have to follow me. Scroll down to this video right here, like it, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, repost this to your story, and come back in here and say the word done. I will say this one more time. And again, how am I going to choose the winners as simple as this? I'm going to go to my phone, all right? I'm going to look at the people who've reposted. Like any of these reposting over here, this is what I'm going to be looking for. So again, follow me. Go to my Instagram and follow me. If you're not following me, you won't win. If you try to repost it on a close friends, you're not going to win. If you try to repost it on a fake account, you're not going to win. It has to be off of a legitimate account. Follow me, okay? Come down to this video, repost it to your story, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, and come back in here and say the word done. Once you have done this, all right, let me know. All right? And we're going to go ahead and get into the product page here after this. If you have any questions, definitely, 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 definitely let me know. All right? All right, you guys seem like you're ready. Let's go ahead and get into the product page now, and I'm going to show you how I build my product pages out. So on my product page, this is very important, okay? You know how I told you guys that 95% of your success is going, or from you getting a sale is going to come from the landing page of the product that you're selling. Either they're going to buy or leave. Well, that means that 95% of the success you're going to have is from your product page, meaning this is the most important thing that you have to focus on. Your product page is going to make or break your wallet. Your product page is going to make or break your profit. Your product page is going to make or break the traffic that is coming from your advertisement. It's the last stop. It's the one thing that gets the customer from going over the edge and buying from you. All right? So this is very important that you guys are focusing on this. And I see some of you guys taking advantage of, of the giveaway. Let me just go ahead and see who's taking advantage of it. 
I'm seeing uh, official grind mode dot YT. All right. He's the only one that's taking advantage. So it looks like he might be the only winner right now. All right. I hope you guys take advantage of it. Don't be mad when you guys when you guys didn't do it. All right. Repost this to your story. Comment the word Wi-Fi bread. Follow me and come back in here and say the word done. All right. Let's go ahead and get into it. So with your product page. All right, this is how I like to start it off. First thing is I like to name my product. So now I'm about to start reviewing your guys' stores in five minutes. In five minutes, I'm about to review your guys' stores. So every single thing that I'm about to show and, and when I am reviewing your guys' stores, I'm going to be reviewing your product pages because I know your product pages are going to determine your success. So when you do post the link to your store in the comment section for me to go ahead and review it in the next five minutes, Make sure to go ahead and tell me what is the main product that you're selling so I can review the landing page of that product, all right, because that will be your success. And these are the things I'm going to be looking for when I review your guys' stores. First off, I like to name my product. Why do I like to name my product? Because I like to be different. I like to give myself the opportunity of getting high SEO. I like to allow myself to stand out from my, tr uh, my competitors. I could easily name this just hair uh hair curler right but for seo purposes for branding purposes to allow myself to stand out i like to name my products so i would recommend that you guys name your products as well now the people who are asking should i start a one product store i'm gonna let you know right now i personally would not start a one product store out the gate that's just my opinion and the reasoning why is because I recommend starting off with a general store to give yourself more chances. Yes, one day you could sell a bag stretcher. The next day you could sell a portable baby bed. The next day you could sell a portable dishwasher. The next day you could sell a kid's book, right? But you can give yourself the opportunity of, of selling them every single day, all day at the same time, just leading them to niche-focused product pages so that you don't always have to start a new store every time a product doesn't work for you, all right? But do I create one product or niche-focused brands? I do. Is this what we teach all of our students? It is. Is this what I want from all of you? It is. I don't just teach drop shipping. Let me be that. Let me make that very clear. I this is called Supreme Ecom. I teach you guys e-commerce. I teach you guys how to create a general drop shipping store, find sustainable, reliable, profitable products that can generate consistent sales, and I teach you guys how to create e-commerce brands that you can go ahead and scale for a lifetime. But the fastest way to test is a general store. The fastest way to find a product that you can brand is on a general store. The easiest and most time efficient and cost efficient way to do this is on a general store. So this is why I recommend doing it this way. And this is my opinion. This is what I do. Like, for example, I still have been running the same general store for two and a half years. <laughs> and I'm just literally always testing out new products. The second one of them generates me over $100,000. I then white label it, I get US fulfillment, I brand it, and then I move it to a brand, and I move it to its own brand itself. Just taking the same pixel and all the data I've already collected, the same, all the emails I've already collected, and moving it and starting a legitimate, stronger brand. But think about this. You know how many brands I started when I first started dropshipping? And I was like, I had no history behind the product selling. I spent five days trying to build the best brand in the world, and then the product didn't sell for me. And then I was like, damn. <laughs> I just wasted a whole week and I have to start over again. This is how you guys can save more time doing it, okay? So, I appreciate that, Marty. I appreciate that, Marty. Thank you. All right, cool. So, let me go ahead and get back into this real quick. Where where am I at? Where where am I at? If you guys can see, can you guys see me at all right now? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I can't see myself right now. Let me give a let me give a quick call right now. Alrighty, let's go ahead and keep moving though. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Yo, the camera turned off. I can't see it on the live. Yeah, I'm not seeing myself. You can pull up real quick. All right, y'all. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and keep going, though. We are going to go ahead and keep going. So,
We'll do this for now. We'll do this for now so you guys can see me. All right. Anywho, going net. Yeah, it disconnected for some reason. I can't see myself on there. Um, all righty, y'all. So with a product page, I like to name my product. I like to have a selling price and then a compare price. I like to give quick features and benefits of the product so it's like the first thing that they see before they actually go into my product description, giving them an understanding of what are you know the main reasons why somebody would buy it. Again, sell, uh, compare price and a, sub, and a selling price. This is very, very, very important. Is it on, Bobby? Yeah, I can, I can see you. Well, that's, it's from my FaceTime camera. It's from my laptop camera, not from, yeah. All right. This is very important because you want to make people feel like they're getting a great sale. All right. Next, I like having my variants down below. Okay. So pink, green. This is what I like to make sure. And when I do click on a variant, it should take me to the variant of the product that I'm selling. All right. Does that make sense? I'm still not seeing it now. Oh, there it is. All right. We are back. We are back now. All right, we're good. Um, so, yes, that's very important. After that, I like giving out a free gift. This is one of the biggest things that I've really focused on with 2024 dropshipping. This is how I stand out. This is how my customers stand out. This is how my clients stand out. One thing I love doing is if you have some margin between your cost of goods and your selling price and you can afford it, please, please, this is going to be huge for you. Give out a free gift. You can do this two ways to give out a free gift. You can do it A, with a free ebook, or B, with a free tangible item. If you guys do not know where to get a free ebook, come over here to plr.me. Now, look at this. If you guys are selling a, let's say, a back stretcher, okay? Stretching book. I can buy this stretching book right here. Whatever one of these books that you guys will see. Any one of these books, uh, let's see, stretching muscles muscles book all right and i can go through any of these books right here i can buy it all right let's say you're selling a baby product i can buy any of these books right here for like five bucks when you download it and you buy it you have access to it for a lifetime you don't have to keep buying it they give you the option to customize it they give you the option to brand it they give you the option to make it unique to your brand so if every time somebody buys something from you and they get a free ebook, it's just another incentive that allows you to stand out from your competition. If you don't do an ebook and you do something like a free gift, now mind you, this scrunchie right here costs me like 50 cents, but it just is a nice add-on. It's just something nice. It allows me to stand out. So again, I would recommend to have some type of free gift. This is, is crazy. It goes a long way. Just do it. All right, just do it. Trust me, it goes a long way. Next, I like having my shipping and delivery and my return policy. This wasn't something I was doing really too much in the past in like 2022. Near the end of 2023, I started really putting this on all my product pages. So people are feeling more confident. Shipping and delivery and returns. Next, what you're going to notice on my product pages is I identify a problem, I give a quick solution, and then a feature and benefit. And there's two types of buyers that come to your store. I want you to write this down. You have a visual buyer and you have a reading buyer. You have to be able to appeal to both types of people. You have people who are a visual buyer who just want to be able to see pictures, gifts, read little things on pictures, see how the product is going to do, buy it. They don't want to read too much. Then you have the reading buyer who's going to read every single word that you have on your product description, every re word in your, review, uh, in your reviews and everything because they're a little bit more nitpicky. They want to feel confident in what they're buying. So I always appeal to both. The, both. So as you see, I start off with a problem and give a solution. Hairstyling anytime and anywhere. This is the problem. Here's the solution. And here's a gift or image showcasing that. All right. Here's a portable and stylish design. Okay. Again, uh, feature and benefit. Showcase it with a gift or image. And more text. Feature and benefit. Image or GIF and image. Showcasing what I'm putting in text. This is what I would recommend you guys doing. Is this making sense? One for yes or two for no. Everything I'm putting in words is also seen in imagery. All right? And then I have my apps down here. Here's an app I like to take advantage of. It's called Frequently Bought Together. Okay? This is an app that you guys can find in Vitals. If you are not using Vitals, make sure to utilize Vitals. This is like the main app that I use on my store. 
This is how I'm able to do frequently bought together. I have a currency converter on here. You see that I have reviews on my store, okay? I'm getting the reviews, all these apps, all in one place, and I like to utilize it on Vitals, okay? So Vitals gives you multiple different things. It can help build trust and credibility with product reviews, logos, trust badges, which I would not recommend, all right? Increase AOV, okay? Volume discounts, buy one, get one free, product bundles, pre-orders. This is how I'm setting up my store to look the way that it does. Enhance user's experience, visitor replays, instant search, all-in-one chat, and more. Now, if you guys are wanting to take advantage of Vitals, I'm going to go ahead and post it down below. It's going to give you a free trial plus 10% off your first month. All right. This is why I have a sticky added cart down here and more. So this is what I would recommend to do. And this is how I start off every one of my product pages. Okay. Now, I got some little tips down here as well. But like I said, you guys can get this full document once this video reaches 300 likes. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this for now. And let's go ahead and review some of your stores. So drop your store links now down below. If you want to get your stores reviewed, go ahead and tell me the product that you're selling as well. And by the way, I'm looking on my phone right now of all the people who've been taking advantage of the giveaway. I'm seeing some of you guys. I'm going to shout out some of you guys who've taken advantage of it. All right. We got Lil Hui, Smile Stock, FNJ Terminal. Okay. I'm seeing Amanda, Captain, X Time Machine. I'm seeing you guys taking advantage of this. All right. Some of you guys are cheating. We're posting it a thousand times. All right. But if you guys are wanting to take advantage of it again, I'm going to go ahead and post the directions down below for you guys to take advantage of it. This giveaway will be in the next 10 minutes. In the next 10 minutes. This is what you'll win in the chat. Go ahead and check it out. If you want to take advantage of it, go to my Instagram, follow me, come down to this video, like it, repost it to your story and tag me, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, and come back in here and say the word done. All right, let's go ahead and get into this, though. I'm going to go ahead and clear all my stuff out now. Again, if you guys need to go ahead and get started with Shopify, you don't have a store, all right, you will be able to post it. Um, you, you'll see in the description a three-month uh, for a dollar Shopify free trial. You guys will be able to see it down below. Drop your store links down below. Let me go ahead and see. Let me go ahead and see what's going on. I'm going to even go ahead and tell the people in my, in my channel, okay, if you have joined the Discord, who wants your store reviewed? You guys better pull up. You guys better pull up. All right. Let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and see what you guys got for me right now. All right. Post my link. Did I do it right? If you guys do post your link and, it's, and you put a .com at the end of it, it won't post. So just like put .co or something like that instead of .com. So um, it won't let me actually pull it up. It, like, it won't actually like I, I can't see the link at all. So just put .co and I can go ahead and pull it up. And then just let me know what product that you are selling. All right. We're ready to go ahead and get going. I'm going to clear this thing out real quick. I'm ready. I'm ready to review your guys's. Go ahead and put it up. Go ahead and put that thing up. Glam stick. Oh, yeah. All right. EMS footpad Curo. Put your actual website link. Okay. Put your website link so I can, you know, actually copy it. Let me see what you guys got going on. I'm ready. I'm re you guys got to drop the stores if you want me to get them reviewed. I'm waiting for you. All right. I am waiting for you. Drop it down below. All right. If you guys are wanting to go ahead and get it, uh, if you guys want to go ahead and get it checked out. Rose Flower Bear for Valentine's Day. Is that what the store is called? Rose Flower Bear? Nope. That's not a store. Put it in the chat section. Somebody put it in the chat section. Or I'm not going to be able to review your store. Put your website link if you want your store reviewed. Do not put .com. Put .co because it will get rid of it inside of the chat. So put if your store name is alex.com, put alex.co. And then next to that, tell me what product that you're selling so I can review the product page. Is this a store, Siri? Nope. Look, 
I'll keep going. I'll just keep instructing if you guys want to keep going. But if you want me to review your guys' stores, let me know. Let me know or I'm not going to be able to do it. All right. By the way, for the people who are asking about the Discord, yes, you guys can join the Discord. It is free for the free channels. There are paid channels for my one-on-one -on -one students as well. Wei Pao saying review mine. Wei Pao, I can't review yours if I can't, if I can't see the link. All right, you guys are still not posting your links down below. You guys are just saying product names. You're saying neck stretcher, vitamin C serum, okay? That's not going to get it reviewed. I need the actual website link, all right? I need the actual, actual website link to actually be able to review it. Let's see if this is one. Someone said Nia Lee. Nope, not a store as well. Damien, I'm still not seeing it. I know you said rose flower bear for Valentine's Day. All right. Don't put the .com then. Don't put .co. Just put your store. Okay. Just put the store name because I'm not getting it. It won't show it in the chat section. It will not post links with .com inside of YouTube comments. So if you want your store reviewed, do not put .com. All right. We finally got one. Mr. Kevin. Let's go ahead and see. He said essential luxuries. Let's go ahead and see what we're working with. All righty. I'm going to go ahead and pull up this product page, and we're going to go ahead and see what is good and what I would change. First off, we're noticing Valentine's Day 50% off plus free shipping. I like this. Uh, k &L Deep Need uh, Massager. That's decent. I would break this up right here into, like, bullet points. I wouldn't have it just all text. Selling price, compare price. I like this. The imagery is definitely not bad. It's clear. Okay, I like this. Shipping and delivery, return. He has a quantity discount in here. Buy two with 15% off. Buy three with 25% off. If I was you, I'd make this 20 and 25% off. Since it is a, a little bit of a higher item, uh, giving a higher discount is important. So basically what I do with my quantity discount, if I am doing this, if I'm selling a product that is under $50, I give 10, 15, 20%. If my product is between $50 and $100, I do $15, $20, $25%. And if the product is under over $100, I do $20, $25, $30%. Okay? All righty. Cool. Next thing. We have bundle and save. I would move this down. All right? I would move this down because uh, we still haven't hit your product description yet. Stimulate real hand massage. Designate. I would definitely bold some of these uh, words in here. You don't want your text to be just straight font, okay? You want to make sure you're bolding some of the key words in here. This looks good. Serenity in 10 minutes. I actually really like that. Tailored comfort. I like this. This actually looks pretty decent. Frequently asked questions. Really, really great. Great app to have on here. Um, for your reviews, I would not show any reviews in boxes or anything like this. All your reviews need to showcase the product actually being used on a real person or being used for the way that it's supposed to be used. Do not have any things like this. Take this one out. Take this one out. Okay. Take this one out. And make your take this one out. Like this shows AliExpress. Like this is going to throw everything off. Okay. For one, make sure that your reviews are showcasing actual legitimate features and benefits with what you're putting in here. Do not just say, you know, very good, right? When you look at my reviews, you're not seeing that. When you're seeing my reviews, they're writing out why it's so good, highlighting same, some of these same features and benefits. You do have a currency converter. You do have your sticky added card on here. Um, so th those are those are some things that I would definitely change. But besides that, not a bad not a bad store. Like I said, I'm gonna review like two or three stores by myself, and then we're gonna review some together. Let's go ahead and check out this store right here. All right, let's go ahead and go into the actual product page. All right, so first thing uh, first, I'm going to be just a little transparent. I don't really like the pink colors too much. Um, it is a little bit harder to see on the mobile version. Um, so that's just my opinion. If you are going to do pink, I would do it a little bit uh, darker. I um, want you guys to understand that over 90% of your consumers, based off of Shopify's reports in 2023, are going to be buying on the mobile version. So if there's anything that's the most important way to look at your store to know if it's effective, you need to do it on the mobile version. 
I like this though. Um, it is pretty clean. I would make your logo a little bit bigger. Um, this is clean though. It has a little branded feel to it. Um, I would make my compare price a little bit higher. If you're going to sell it $34.99, I would make this like $69.99 to give some type of higher discount with it. If I click on purple, is it taking me to purple? It is. I like this. Um, guaranteed safe checkout. All of this. Get rid of this. This is not needed at all. When you go shop from Fashion Nova, Boohoo, Walmart, Target, these big brands, you're not seeing this guaranteed safe checkout on their product page. It's okay to have it on your um, on your checkout page, but your customers should be already able to trust you. Same with this only 10 left in stock, not needed at all because guess what? Customers are smarter than what you think they are. If they don't buy the product today and they come back, let's say, in, in 10 hours and it says only 10 left in stock, it's like it's, it's not legitimate. Keep it simple. Don't put any of these countdown timers or, or any of this type of stuff on here. Returns, I like this. Okay, specifications, shipping details, very good. How to use, very, very good. Um, I would move this entire section right here. Like I get it. You're trying to show it before and after, but it's taking me forever to even make it to your product description. This FAQ should be at the bottom. I'm still not in your product description. Uh, all I see is a guarantee. Yeah, this layout has to change. Okay. I, I don't know anything about the product at all. All you're showing me is before and after. I don't know how it works. I don't know what the features and benefits are. I don't know what things, um, like, I don't know any of that. Like, yes, you have some good features and benefits and FAQs, but this needs to be brought down. You need to have a product description. You need to have highlighted f features and benefits. You need to tell me what it does, what it solves. Um, but you do have some of the other good points in here. But you don't have any reviews at all either, so that would definitely throw a lot of things off. All right? So those would be some of the things that I would definitely change. Let's go ahead and keep reviewing your guys' stores. We have Blix B. Let's go ahead and check out one of the uh, products on here. We have, let's go ahead and do this Rose Baron. Um, quick thing, if you are going to go, at, you again, 5% of your people that are going to come to your store are going to look around in your store. If you have things on your homepage where I go ahead and want to look at them and it takes me to a page not found, that is not a good sign, all right? Um, I don't know what your main product is, but it's kind of all over the place as well. I don't know what direction you want me to go, like... Is it lamps? Is it uh, shirts? We can tell that this isn't really even finished, so it could definitely throw off the consumer. Um, I'll click on one of these products, but I don't really know which one you're wanting me to check out. So I'll check out this one, for example. Countdown timer has got to go. This huge entire thing at the very top, get rid of it completely. Do not have any type of imagery before you actually make it to your product. Because again, 95% of your traffic is going to be on the landing page of the product that you're selling. So what would it mean if you landed to this product page and this is all you saw, okay? People are not gonna scroll. They're not gonna do extra work. Consumers are lazy, all right? So if this is the first thing, they don't even know what product you're selling. So get rid of this entire thing. Make your store only three colors. Do not write limited sell, okay? Give a, like write what the sell actually is going to be or the season that you're uh, giving a sell for. Um, countdown timer has got to go. It says late New Year sales, like late, like New Year's is over. It's not needed. Um, let's go ahead and see. When I'm clicking on different variants, it's taking me to the same variant. So we we'll change that as well. This is decent. Guarantee safe checkout. Get rid of this. This section right here. Move it up and put it right here. Don't start it off with a picture. Start off with a GIF or image. This is nice. I like this. Um, for wellness, like, cool. What problem does it solve? You're, you're only showing me features. You're not showing me the benefit of the feature. And you're not telling me what problem it's solving. And you have no customer reviews. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely change that. All right, let's go ahead and get into another store. Now, for everybody now, since I've already done three stores, we are now going to review this together. Okay, realityroyals.com. Okay, I'm trying to type that in. Realityroyals.com. It's saying the site cannot be reached. So, Damien, uh, give me a different link if you, if you have a different link, all right? Let's go ahead and do this. And by the way, if you guys are wanting to know, like, what to do, now this is a good product page. This is a good, or a good landing page. This is definitely a good landing page. 
Ah, uh, I spoke too quick. Way too much, way too much, way too much text. Let me show you guys what I do if you guys want to know. If I want to type it, if I want to sell a rose bear, just come over here and type in rose bear plus myshopify.com. Find out who is actually running the most ads for this, okay? And then, or even just rose bear, even anything that you want to do, find out who's running the most ads for it, okay? And who's driving the most traffic? Let's just take these two people for example. Use similar web to find out who is driving the most traffic. Okay, this is an app that shows you the traffic behind the store. And take advantage of what they also have in their product description. So like for example, if this person right here is getting like pretty decent traffic, like 19,000 visitors right now for this Rose Bear, maybe you should be basing yourself off of what they're doing, okay? There's a big difference between these product pages and the rose bear product page that you were uh, that you were just showing me, a bear shall adore natural beauty that lasts, like perfectly giftable, like these are better things than you know me just seeing this long thing of text. All right. So one thing I want you guys to understand is nobody ever 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 wants to read a novel. Nobody wants to ever read a novel. So you want to make sure that you're breaking all of your product descriptions up with imagery, gifts, text, different fonts, bolding text. You don't want to just have it just like this because no one's going to read this. Secondly, your store is red, white, you have black, and you have a blue kind of dark navy like buy now button. It's kind of throwing off the appearance. I'm not going to lie. If you are wanting to change the buy now button, make it lime green. Okay, make it lime green. Similar to this. Where is this at? Similar to this, like you see my store is black, white, and blue, but the only color that's different is the added card button so that it will grab the user's attention. Uh, but everything else needs to go being simple. Purple, white, red. If you are going to have different variants of products, you need to make sure they all have the same imagery. Like if it's going to look like this, when I click on purple, it needs to look the exact same. You don't want to have different things, all right? Next, you have reviews, but they have no images at all. So you need to make sure that you're adding images. And it says cute, but, cute, but box arrived damage. Like, do you want your customers not to buy from you? If you don't want your customers to buy from you, definitely have negative reviews on your store. But if you do want them to have to buy from you, make sure your reviews are showing like legitimacy behind it. Um, I do like this though. I would take this product out, but I do like how you have complimentary products that go with the main product that you're selling. All of these could be Valentine's Day products. Um, you don't really have like a sticky add to cart. You don't have any upsells. You don't have a currency converter. Um, so those are definitely some apps that I would utilize on my store. Yes, this is your last chance, Michael. Okay, here is the instructions. This is your last chance. The giveaway winner comes out in five minutes. If you're watching this video right now and you do not win, or you're watching this video later and you do not win, if you still follow these same instructions, um, and comment on this video afterwards what your biggest takeaway was. I will give out that winner next Wednesday. But you will get the chance of winning uh, this giveaway that I'm about to give out in five minutes. If you follow the instructions down below, follow me, go down this video, like it, repost it to your story, comment the word Wi-Fi bread, and come back in here and say the word done. And I'll be choosing the winner as simple as wherever my finger stops. So I hope you guys take advantage of it. All right, I'm seeing you guys taking advantage though. I'm seeing you guys taking advantage. All right, uh, Breno, send it to me real quick. Breno, send it to me and I'll review your store real quick. I appreciate it. Breno, thank you so much for, uh, you know, uh, throwing and showing some love. Throw your store down below and I will get it reviewed right now. All right, send it to I haven't got a domain yet or name, but it will mean a lot if you do check it out. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Just run me up. Let's go ahead and check out this Blixby real quick. We're going to start reviewing these stores together. I want you guys to tell me what you would change now. Oh, hey, I just already reviewed this one. I already reviewed this one. Um, let's see. Portable baby bed. All right, let's try this one. We are going to do this as a team, as a team, as a family. We're going to do this together. Okay, you guys tell me right now, what would you change about this product page? I want to make sure you guys are paying attention. Uh, Brino, go ahead and put it uh, put it in the chat section. Uh, I'll go ahead and get it reviewed. And thank you for throwing that bread. It really means a lot, actually. I don't really even, I never even expected it. Um, what would you guys change about this? You guys tell me. 
I'll review it after you guys tell me. But I need to know that you guys are paying attention. You guys tell me right now. What would you change? Here's the selling price. Here's the comparing price. Look at the currency of what it's saying. Okay. I live in the United States, by the way. Look at these points right here. Let's look at the imagery. Okay. Look at this right here, this section. All right. Seeing what you guys are seeing. What would you change? Sell button to red. Some people are saying it looks pretty good so far. What else? Looks nice, but I would do $69.99 and $51.99. I 100% agree. Look, for one, this you got to play psychology. There's only two type of uh, numbers that you can end with, 97 or 99, all right? So um, that's something I would definitely recommend. Ending is 97 or 99. Let me see if Brino's on here real quick. Brino, if you dropped it, let me know. This section needs to be way more simple, and it should, it's taking up too much space. This is way too much text. This needs to be brought up into, uh, you already have your points right here. Take this entire section out. Take this entire section out. Um, make the variance a drop-down bar. I agree. You know, this is taking up too much space. Let's see. You have uh, pretty good products that you can relate to. I do like that. Are you giving a discount? You are giving a discount. Okay, decent. You have your sticky added card in here. Um, order now. Get access to the PDF Baby Sweet Sleep Routine for free. This is actually fire. This right here is fire. You see how they branded it? Fire. Okay. I would limit these questions down. It is a little bit too much space. I'll be real with you. I'd move this up over the FAQs. Um, this is different. I like that. I like that. Here's the reviews. The reviews are showcasing babies actually utilizing it. This is perfect. I wouldn't. I wouldn't change anything about this. I'm gonna give this product page like a like an eight out of ten. All right, like an eight, like an eight out of ten. All right, eight out of ten. All right, let's go ahead and get into uh, this real quick, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and keep moving. Let's go ahead and get into this giveaway winner. Brino, send me over your store. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and get into this giveaway winner now. I told you guys, if you do need to reach out to me afterwards, okay, this is my Instagram right here. My, my DMs are always open. So if you do need to reach out to me after this, go ahead and reach out to me, okay? If you do want to apply for the six spots available in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, no matter your experience level, and you want to go ahead and get on a free discovery call with myself and my team to hear what we can offer as well as what you're looking for um, and get guided without wasting time, money, effort, or energy with one-on-one -on -one help through your success to generate an extra five to $10,000 a month, you guys can apply at supremeecom.com, all right? I will post this link down below. If you have applied, go ahead and say you have applied, okay? If you have reached out to me on Instagram, go ahead and say you have reached out to me on Instagram so I can be on the lookout after this. Okay, I'm going to get into the giveaway winner now. Not coming up. I don't know if YouTube. Brino, send it to me on Instagram, okay? And I'll send you some revisions after this. All right, let's go ahead and get into this giveaway winner. It's going to be wherever my finger stops, all right? So you guys see real quick. It's going to be wherever my finger stops. Oops. You guys ready? I'm going to close my eyes. Ready? Five, four, three, two. I want to make sure it's not the exact same person because some people are cheating. Damn, some people are really cheating. You guys were really cheating today. It's okay. We will uh, we'll make sure that we don't do it. Ready? Five, four, three, two. Two, one, boom. FJ dot terminal, FJ dot terminal. Congratulations on winning. Reach out to me on my Instagram at ac underscore hampton and let me know that you won. Damien said I applied and reach out. I got you. No worries. Uh, 
Damien, just uh, reach out to me on my Instagram, and we'll go ahead. And, we'll go ahead and get that call uh, scheduled for you today. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that call ready, Damien. We can go ahead and do it like in an hour or two. Uh, just let me know. I want to say congratulations to uh, him for winning again. Everybody in here, say congratulations. Wait, let me make sure that he follows me. Let me make sure he follows me because that was a part of it. It does. Okay. So congratulations on winning. Again, you do have another opportunity of winning this upcoming Wednesday at 10 a.m. Once you go ahead and comment your biggest takeaway on this YouTube video after, uh, after you've watched it and you have followed the same instructions that I put in this chat. So I will be giving that winner out this Wednesday at 10 a.m., okay, if you guys want to take advantage of it. I'll see you guys coming here soon. This is AC with Supreme Ecom. If you apply for my one-on-one -on -one mentorship or reach out to me 